Russia's gas production collapses to late stage USSR levels. Here's a summary of the article. Russian gas production so far this year has slumped to levels not seen since the 1970s. The country's state energy giant Gazprom said in its latest report that gas production in the first half of 2023 was 179.45 billion cubic meters. The continent overcame an energy crunch last winter, in part by reducing energy consumption and finding other suppliers, such as sellers of seaborne liquefied natural gas. In February 2023, Putin accused the West of direct attempts to try to hinder and restrain Russia's gas industry but added that Gazprom is moving forward and launching new projects. Thomas O'Donnell, a Berlin-based geopolitical analyst, told Newsweek that Putin had cut gas flows, even before the attack in September 2022 on the Nord Stream pipelines between Russia and Germany an act of sabotage that the Kremlin denies responsibility for and which is still being investigated. Gazprom's report reinforces predictions by Russian state bank VEB, reported by Reuters in September, that Russia's pipeline natural gas exports to the European Union may fall to 21 BCM, almost two-thirds lower than last year in a six-fold drop from 2021. Gazprom head Alexei Miller will join Putin during the Russian president's visit next month to China to boost trade ties and offset losses of gas sales from the lucrative European market, Reuters reported. This post received a score of 7,400, with an upvote ratio of 97%. Here are the top comments in response to this article. After the collapse of the USSR, the USA helped them to rebuild their gas extraction and production facilities and uses US instruments and production equipment. After the invasion of Ukraine, the US stopped all assistance which caused production facilities to degrade. Add to the fact that there was a low less demand because of embargoes Russia gas production is in a sorry state. The fun really begins when the oil backs up down the pipes in Siberia and freezes. Their natural gas wells are mostly very old, and with little pressure. If you have to turn production off, you can't turn it back on, the wells are simply lost. I wonder if any of the wells are modern enough to be affected by a cyber attack, or if the CIA would have to send a guy with a wrench. Either way, shutting down those wells will be good for global warming. Why bother letting them know what you're capable of if they're just gonna do it to themselves anyways? Also, the nat gas is not what you want to be turning off if you're concerned about global warming. The Germans were using it as fuel because it is significantly better for the environment than coal. Now they are back to using coal because all their supply lines came from Russia. The idea that petroleum gas is better for the climate than coal is dubious. When burnt natural gas produces fewer emissions but gas leaks put methane into the atmosphere, which is a much stronger greenhouse gas than CO2. The narrative that gas is cleaner than coal was heavily driven by oil companies that wanted to pose gas a cleaner. The original gas ad was, natural gas is a bridge fuel to the future. In practice it's been, natural gas is a bridge fuel to coal. Link. Don't forget, coal releases uranium in non-trivial quantities when burned. Greater than don't forget, coal releases uranium in non-trivial quantities when burned people don't talk about the cancer risk from a coal plant enough. I mean, maybe they should. Meanwhile U.S. production is at historic highs, and climbing. U.S. dry natural gas production, weekly U.S. field production of crude oil. As OPEC plus decreases output, U.S. will increase output, right? I'd suspect it, but if you ask Republicans, American gas output is in shambles and failing. Anyone with common sense would understand the U.S. is for ed into record production of oil because Russia is being blocked out due to the conflict and the Saudis are fine with making record profits by simply maintaining production at these high prices. For Republicans the argument is more energy independence and becoming a major exporter of oil globally. Foreign policy plays a role in that which is a legitimate problem. This video was automatically created by Reddit to speech. The article and comments in this video were selected from Reddit according to their upvotes, and any paraphrasing was performed by smmry.com, without any human intervention.